Welcome to this series of short videos which will be accompanying my album, Invisible Music, folk songs that influenced Angela Carter. Hello, in this next video I wanted to talk about tracks 12 and 13, the song Barbary Allen and an extract from Carter's story, The Lady of the House of Love. So. My focus for putting these tracks together was this motif of sentient plants. This idea of roses with a mind of their own. And with, in the folk song tradition, there's this pair of tag verses that pop up not just at the end of Barbary Allen, but also other songs. Um, about the briar and the rose growing together in the old churchyard. It, it, it pops up in a lot of places. And the image of two people who cannot be together in life, but through the entangling of plants are brought together somehow. It's quite a common motif in folk song. Um, Carter's imagination is cut. There seems to be an awful lot of riotous plants that grow all over the place. There are fanged roses that jab people and bite people and come to symbolize all kinds of things. In the song Died for Love, there's this idea of picking a rose and it's all linked to virginity and sex love. And I think that rich alphabet of symbols seeped its way into Carter's imagination through singing. So Barbary Allen, I've slightly tweaked the name Barbary. It's often Barbara, but sometimes it's done as Barbary. And I was working with Jack Harris on this song and he suggested calling her Barbary because he'd come across that version. And it gives a slight hint of something racial involved, something perhaps to do with traveller communities, gypsy communities. But there's something about their inability to get together which may have a race element which I think is really interesting um, and I just liked singing it uh, some of these decisions are pretty arbitrary aren't they but anyway the, these last two this is a tale of tragic love it's very famous and it's child ballad number 84 as well so it's in the child compendium the way Carter uses flowers across her over echoes this idea of flowers having minds of their own or flowers coming to symbolize the love between people in the infernal desire machines of Dr. Hoffman, the somnambulist drops a rose in the middle of the night, and Albertina, the associated with roses as well. There's this terrible yearning of unrequited love, which Carter seems to associate with these flowers, and it reminds me so much of Barbary Allen and the, the briar and the rose coming together in the churchyard. But in The Lady of the House of Love, the vampiress leaves a, a rose for him which he carries to the front again it's a symbol of their unrequited unrequitable love and that's definitely borrowed from folk song 